Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, remember to leave a thumbs up if you want to see more in the future. But first things first, let us begin sandbox mode. So I've taken down a, a handful of suggestions of what we should try in the sandbox mode. So let's just go for one of the basic ones, which was just four spearmen against uh, two boxers and three footmen. So let us try and see how this goes. So two boxers. I believe this, I think the swordsmen are going to have this just because there's a small numbers advantages, but this is just the basic one. There's going to be a lot bigger battles coming up. So here we go. We got four spearmen against three swordsmen and two boxers. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think it's even a contest. Well, maybe, yeah, no, blue victory. Once again, I don't think I've ever had red to win a game. Maybe we should have that happen at some point. So let's clear this. Let's clear both of these. So that's one suggestion done. A swordsman versus swordsman. Okay, this this was an interesting one. One of them was just, what if we had a hundred or like one full row of shields against uh, two rows of peasants? That could be kind of interesting, especially since the shieldsmen don't really have an attack. So then we go and get the peasants, just a full line of them. I think in the end there should be a hundred because there's going to be about two full rows. So this is kind of fill this entire thing up. Maybe we won't have like a full 187. Yeah, there we go. 106 against 30 shieldmen. Let's see how this one plays out. I think, once again, the peasants will just have it just by a pure number advantage, but these guys are gonna like bash all their shields in. Yeah, but no, the, the, the peasants I think are gonna get a complete surround here. And then, yeah, I think the peasants are gonna win this one out. Yeah. So some of the, some of the shield guys are actually just trying to run away. Yeah, but there's actually they actually killed a surprising number of the peasants. I guess the peasants really are just absolute trash. Yeah, there's two shield guys over there, handful of peasants over here. But yeah, there's there's what four shield guys left. Yeah, there's like four four five shield guys and about ten peasants or so. Actually, maybe they, maybe they'll maybe they'll bring it around. We're about six versus five right now. That's, that's you guys just died. But they're not really doing anything coordinated, so maybe nothing will get finished here. You're gonna just run into each other. Like, if you guys had, like, a coordinated assault on all the peasants, then maybe you could get something done here. Get some shield bashing in there. So, okay, that, that guy actually took out two peasants. I'm actually very, very surprised by these results. So, I guess peasants... Are peasants just ever useful? But I think Red's gonna have their first victory here at, at some point. There we go! A Red victory. I'm actually very surprised that worked out. It really feels like it shouldn't have. So let's clear this, let's clear that. What other things do we have in here? Shields versus archers. Um... Shields versus peasants, we've already done that one. How about just like a, like swords versus swords? Oh, poachers versus swords, that could be an interesting one. So let's get like a line of poachers. And then against a line of swordsmen. And let's see, can the... I mean, if the swordsmen get to the peasants or get to the poachers, then it's basically, I think, game over. But... If the... Oh, no, it looks like the... Uh, no, no, the archers absolutely devastate the swordsmen. Not even a contest there, really. Red victory. Kind of should have seen that one coming. So let's clear this. Let's clear that. 100 peasants versus 50 swords. Well, that one will probably not be a contest if they won against the uh, shields. So how about we try some other stuff here? How about we get like a handful of cannons? Five cannons versus... Well, five cannons, some ballistas in between, and then catapults behind them. And then, I don't know, uh, let's just have like a little bit of peasants back here. And have them go against, um, well, just a bunch of, for one, a bunch of poachers. And then some chariots behind them. Let's see how this one goes. I really like the artillery. I think the artillery, oh, wow, okay. The, uh, chariots just killed a lot of the poachers. It's actually kind of a, uh, kind of a mess over here. I mean, most of the chariots, I think, are still alive. I'm just assuming that... Okay, here comes the chariots. They're kind of coming. Come kill the blista. There's one catapult. I still think is operational, even though it's not really doing anything. There we go. Oh, so that one actually, that one is dead, even though it looks like he should be perfectly alive. 
Okay. Interesting. So how about we just have... Have we done pure chariots? Maybe we have. How about we have, uh... Like a line of farmers. Against... Uh, we'll get rid of this guy. Against a line of boxers. There we go. Even though they're not, you know, perfectly in a straight line, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, I think. We got a lot of guys here with weapons against a lot of melee guys who just mostly get stuck on themselves. I don't... Well, that's going to make Red Team have a very, very easy time with this, isn't it? If they, if all the boxers just get stuck running around in circles. These three guys are absolutely the best of friends. Oh, no, actually, they, they choked the one guy out in the middle. But the rest of them are perfectly good friends. Yeah, so it looks like the farmers have it. There we go. We're going to kill a handful of them. Here comes some farmers. They're going to come kill this guy. And I think he might be... Wow, that box starts to kill like four or five of the uh, farmers. So we got one... We have one boxer left. Two of the farmers are just kind of stuck where they are. Oh, boxer, I believe in you. We got one boxer against one farmer. Boxer. I believe in this guy. Unless this guy, he just got stabbed right in the eye, which could happen. Up, oh, up. Oh. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, the boxers just barely won out in the end. Oh, this guy looks very surprised by that result. Okay, well, how about... Let's clear this. Let's clear this. Barbarians? How about we do, like, a Roman invasion? Well, not Roman invasion. But, like, the barbarian invasions of Rome. So we'll get a bunch of shield guys. Uh, we'll kind of want them all in a row. It's a little bit easier to have the, uh, the shield guys in a row. Just because they take up four squares. So we're going to have, like, a bunch of legionaries. No, I want it to be, like, here. No. Go like that. And then kind of slide across here. There we go. And then behind them, we should have a bunch of spearmen. And how will Rome do against the, uh, the onslaught of barbarians? It's kind of a complete mess to try to get this to work properly. I mean, you know, that's fine enough. That, that's, that's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. And have them fight a bunch of barbarians. So we have 60 units here. Let's about have double 100 barbarians with, you know, no organization against the Roman column here. And will they be able to succeed? The game's going to be a little bit laggy because the game does not like this many people here. And the barbarians come. They just kind of smash straight through the Roman lines. But I think the... Are you going to win? Are you guys going to win? Or are the barbarians too much? Those shield guys, they, 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 they don't want to be here at all. The shield guys never really want to see them be, want to be part of a battle. But it looks like the, the Romans are going to win out in the end. This one guy's stuck on his spear, but that's fine. It's kind of like a little flag, but of a dead body. And this guy here. Oh, he just, he just dodged the uh, spear. But he's coming in. He's coming in. And he is absolutely dead. And the Romans have it in the end. Good work, Rome. Good work, Rome. So how about we have the Romans here, but against some Egyptians, which were, you know, they had chariots. That's one of the things about uh, e Egypt. They had some chariot units. So some chariot units. Uh, what else did, what else was Egypt famous for? For some reason, when I think Egypt, I think of archers. So let's have a handful of poachers in between. Oh, we can't even put them in between these guys. You know, so let's have a handful of poachers back here. And then, um... Yeah, that's fine for now. Let's see how the Egyptians will do against the Roman invasion. The chariots come, they smash straight through the line. I don't think these uh, these archers are going to have too much of an effect. Oh, oh, here comes the uh, here comes the chariots back again. And here they come. Now, they're, they're going to completely destroy these poachers. Not even a question. Now, Rome... Oh, what the hell is going on with this guy? He's just holding nothing at all, but he doesn't care. He does not care. And where is the last... Oh, they're, they're all rushing over for this guy. He doesn't want to die, though. He's fighting. He's a trooper. Yeah, but there we go. He is dead. I'm surprised, actually, by how good just this uh, this column is here. How about, we just add, how about we just add more chariots? I think, really, that is the, uh, the question here. What if we just throw more chariots at this? So they smash through that line. One guy kind of freaks out. Goes to the moon. Look, you can see some contrails up there of, of dead human beings. There we go. So, yeah, Rome just apparently cannot be beaten. 
Well, there's gotta be something here that could beat them. How about a row of ballistas? How about two rows of ballistas? Come on, ballistas. I believe in you. I mean, really, the Romans probably should be red. I feel like red's more of a Roman color than blue. But that's fine. Oh, the ballistas are so awesome, though. Yeah, no, this is a... Uh, they are dead as hell. Did they? Are they gonna kill a single ballista? I don't think I don't think red blues kill a single ballista yet. I think the only ballistas that have died have been due to friendly fire. And there we go, a red victory. Where are you shooting at now? You killed them all. So let's clear this. Let's clear the Romans out. And now I think we're gonna let's try to reenact some old battles. So we're gonna have two cannons here. We're going to have some cannons on the blue side as well. And then we are going to have some archers basically pretending to be riflemen. So yeah, we'll put a bunch of archers in a row. Put a bunch of archers in a row here. And they're basically going, you know, they're going to walk in unison. Walk up to each other and just shoot each other in the face, but with, with artillery support. So imagine instead of bows, they have muskets though. Because that works out a little bit better. Oh, the cannons just knock each other out of the air. <laughs> the cancer is killing each other, but it looks like okay. So blues lost their artillery support Red still has their artillery support, but they are losing a lot more men Will the artillery be enough to help red in the victory? I'm kind of going to go with no on this We got a few of archers here. We got a few archers over there But it looks like this red artillery support. He's gonna have it. There's just one of them left smacked right in the chest with a cannonball Definitely cannot uh, cannot feel good they get hit in the face with a cannonball. So, let's clear this. Clear this. Now, what do we do? How about just like a pure peasant brawl? 100 peasants against 100 peasants. No organization at all. Just have them run at each other. Probably, you know, probably should actually have less peasants than that. Because it's clear the game does not like it. 64 against 64 there we go that runs a little bit better so let's have the peasants run at each other i think red might have it just because they were slightly closer together when i was just kind of throwing them all at each other having a pure peasant engagement you guys are you guys doing okay okay so it looks like uh red's winning here or they're doing a really nice hug they love each other very much up, up, up! Nah, red heater is dead. How are you guys doing over here? I think blue is just overpowered. Even even with like completely the same number of units, they just completely lose. Yeah, so this guy, he just, he just, he's just gonna keep running in circles. These guys, they're just kind of all hanging out. And that's nice. It's good for them. Good for them. But I do think this is gonna be the end of this episode. So if you have any... Suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and goodbye.